Hey guys, it's Mel Kazaki, and uh, I'm at RuneSpan, and I think this is actually the first RuneSpan vlog that I've made since uh, venturing into this place and determining not to leave until I was 99 RuneCrafting. And um, the strange thing is that I was actually putting off making a RuneSpan vlog because I was just with the reasoning that I didn't want to make one because I was like, oh, I really want to stay away from the RuneSpan vlogs as much as possible because I don't want to uh, make a whole bunch of vlogs at this place because that would bore people to tears. And uh, kind of with that thought, I just ended up putting it off and putting it off until I almost, uh, well, get, got pretty close to reaching 99 without making a single one. So I thought, hey, you know, um, I can make one RuneSpan vlog, um, and I'm most likely going to get 99 RuneCrafting tomorrow. That's the plan. Um, and I had a couple things I wanted to talk about just during this vlog, some things that were kind of brought to my attention. Um, first of all, as many people know, when you're really grinding skills hard to get to a max cape, um, it is easy to get a little bit burnt out and it's easy to get a little bit bored. Luckily, I have had the determination to kind of stick at it and grind through some of those skills that are not very fun to train. Runecrafting has never been one of my favorite skills. I actually liked it a lot more before RuneSpan came out, but obviously... Um, Running nature runes or aster runes, which which is actually something I enjoy, is about four times slower XP per hour than staying in here. So, it's obviously not worth it. Uh, that's one thing that I kind of wish um, Jagex would consider is boosting the XP that you get from like normal rune crafting, um, so that you could have an alternative to uh, being in this place and still gain decent rune crafting XP. Because uh, honestly, who's going to run nature runes for like 25k XP an hour when they could go in here and get it four times as fast, even though, in my opinion, and I'm one of the few who feels this way, I enjoy run running nature runes or astral runes a lot more than I like rune span, which is just one of those crazy things, I guess. But um, anyway, what I wanted to make this vlog about was um, starting a new account. Um, I have started my new account and have got some fairly decent progress on it. I got I'm almost 78 engineer, and I should get that today. Um, and I've got a lot of other skills starting to get up, starting to do some Slayer tasks and stuff. And um, I just wanted to make a recommendation to anyone who's really skilling hard and feeling a little bit burnt out about it, is maybe even try to start a new account. And uh, one of the great things about it is you can do things that you really enjoy in RuneScape, such as Slayer. Um, I could do Slayer on here, but uh, that doesn't help me get a max cape, so it's not the most uh, beneficial thing for me to do. Um, and it just, I want to get that max cape and the max stats as soon as possible. So doing anything that I actually consider fun in this game versus something that um, isn't entirely fun but still reaches towards the end goal just doesn't really feel worthwhile. So one thing that I could recommend if you're feeling a little bit burnt out by skilling and uh, really want to actually enjoy this game again is start a new account and um, do some things that you enjoy. For example, if you jo enjoy Slayer, or even if you enjoy um, other things such as Dungeoneering, you can do that on a new account and experience it again at the low levels, which are often a lot more fun because you can do various things that you don't haven't done in a long time on your main. Um, so that was just something that I think is probably a good idea for a lot of people in this game that um, are getting a little bit burnt out by the skills, which I can completely understand. Anyway, I am probably going to max out in a week or so. I'm not exactly sure how long fishing is going to take me. Um, I'm going to be do, doing C2 fishing, which is uh, roughly 100k XP an hour, so that's about 42 hours of fishing or so, considering I'm 4.2 mil XP off. And it's crazy that I'm just so close, and yet I don't feel entirely excited, partly because I know as soon as I get the max cape, uh, first thing I'm going to do is um, start working towards the completion escape, which is going to include a lot of dungeoneering. And dungeoneering is something I enjoy, but um, like most skills, if you do something you enjoy, or even most things in real life, if you do something you enjoy for a lot and really grind it out, it suddenly becomes more of something you're just doing because you feel obligated to and not something that you're really doing for fun. So um, hopefully I'll be able to stick through with dungeoneering. Uh, 84 million dungeoneering XP to level 120, that is quite a lot. That's going to be doing a lot of larges. So, uh, for anyone that has been interested with in dungeoneering with me, I have been doing a fair amount of dungeoneering with um, people in the FC on my uh, newbie account. And thanks for that, by the way. That really does help. It's very difficult to solo dungeoneer on such a low-level stats account. So doing it with other people not only is a lot more fun, but actually allows me to do the dungeons faster and uh, allows me to actually complete them because it's pretty hard to do that sometimes. 
But anyway, I am um, going to be dungeoning on this main account. Not yet. Uh, not until I'm done with fishing. But as soon as I do get the max cape, I'll, I'll have some sort of party. Uh, I feel like having a party is the right thing to do, considering I've had like a series going for a long time. And really been uh, dedicated a lot of my YouTube channel towards the progress towards the max cape. And so having a party with uh, anyone who wants to come, who subscribed to me, or has seen a few of my videos and just thinks it, finds it interesting um, that's definitely something that's going to happen um, probably in a week and a half from now I'm not exactly sure as I said not quite sure how long fishing is going to take but I can speculate probably around not this coming Saturday but next Saturday might be the Max Cape event where I get the Max Cape um, as I said uh, I'm as much as I have liked it when I did C2 Fish in the past, I feel I feel almost like I'm dreading it because um, for so long now I've been uh, woodcutting and runecrafting, which are both AFK skills and allow me to do other things or even work on my uh, low-level newbie account a bit while I'm doing those things. And while C2 Fishing, it's um, it takes a lot more click-intensive and it takes a lot more of your concentration to do C2 Fishing. So. I'm not quite sure uh, how I'll adjust from being able to train skills that are really AFK um, and then start training a skill where you have to pay attention to actually train it. Um, a lot of people choose to go the route of either like fishing rock tails or fly fishing which takes a lot less concentration. You don't really, it is I guess in a way AFK, um, probably not so much as like wood cutting or rune crafting but um, you have to definitely not, it doesn't take so much concentration to do that. But um, I just want to get fishing as fast as possible and get the max cape as fast as possible because when you get to that stage where you've been working on this thing for, I don't even remember when I started my max cape series, I think it was like a year ago, so it has been quite a long time where I've had this goal in mind and I really want to get it as soon as possible now. And um, yeah, so that's my fishing goals and everything. So I guess the point of this vlog is just to say, you know, if you are feeling a bit burnt out of this game and you kind of want to experience it again in a more fun way, I'd recommend starting a new account. Um, one thing that you do have to keep in mind uh, if you do decide to start a new account that is going to require a lot of questing at first. Um, I think the first few days when I started the account, all I did was quests and I had to get a lot of quests done that I really don't enjoy. One of them is Ghost Ahoy. I think I've done that quest like four or five times on different accounts and I've never liked it. It's never gotten easier, no matter how t many times I've done that quest. I just, I don't know what it is. It's just some of those quests are really annoying, and the reward isn't that great, but um, there's something that you have to do. For example, Ghost Ahoy and the Grand Tree quest are like two quests that you really need to do for farm runs. Um, it just makes farming a million times easier once you get those done. And also the Lumbridge Achievement Diary for the, the Cabbage Patch Ring, that helps a lot with farm runs as well. Um, and none of those are really quests I enjoy all that much, but they're just ones that I've done over and over on many different accounts. And uh, yeah, so if you're not much of the questing type, uh, starting a new account might not be for you, because there's definitely a lot of things that are really important to unlock right away. But um, anyway, that's all for this vlog. Uh, this is probably going to be the only RuneSpan vlog that I make on this account and probably for a very long time because I am almost done with room crafting and I am very ready to be done with it. I should get to around 500k XP left by the end of today and then I'll be able to finish that off tomorrow and finally be done with room crafting so uh, that's only going to be one skill left. Um, I guess that might help a little bit just getting excited for the max cape and all of that, and then eventually uh, proceeding into Dungeoneering Hardcore for the Completion Escape, which is my next goal. And of course, when that new skill comes out, I'll have to grind that out as well, which is probably just going to be so much fun. Uh, as in, fun as in I'll hate every second of it. But um, anyway, that's about all for this vlog. Thanks for watching. Uh, join my friends chat in game. And especially if you do want to Dungeoneer with my newbie account, um, just come to the friends chat and say so. Uh, I am a pretty low level Dungeoneer, and unless we can somehow get four other people to do a large, it will most likely be, be doing mediums. Um, I've done like two larges on the low level accounts because those were the only times where I could find four other people that wanted to dungeoneer on uh, abandoned two floors and not the really high level floors. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, farewell.